Hey y'all, what's up? It's Alana and this is my review for Put a Ring on It season two, episode two. So y'all was looking at this interview on Courtney and Eddie's channel. They also review these shows and they had Ashley on from last season. And I believe I went to school with Ashley, so I'm going to have to check that out. So anyway, we pick up where we left off last episode when Dr. Nicole is asking Darian if he wants to go on a second date with Kai. He's taking his time, but we know that he does. Alexia looks horrified waiting on his response, but he eventually says yes. Kai says, if you keep going on a date with Kai, not Kai, Alexia says, if you keep going on a date with Kai, that sounds like a relationship. In their confessional, Jessica and Erica are talking and he, Eric was like, man, you better leave Kai where she at. And he's funny. At first, I didn't see it for him, but I get his charm. He has a great sense of humor. And people are comparing him to T.I. They don't look alike too much to me, but they definitely sound alike. So um, then we get to Kai saying that, you know, that she feels like it's more if he, he wants a second date with her. Dr. Nicole says, well, you have to give him the space to go through this process. Alexia says, well, he can have all the space he want. And Dr. Nicole is like, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, she says, you know, that's not a truthful response. You're being defensive. And she was. Alexia, you know doggone well if, um, if he tells you he wants space and he won't move out, you'll be crushed. So stop it. So anyway, um, Darian says that he wants to use these dates as tools. And I do believe him because even though he said that off-putting comment about Kai's breast and, and, and butt, he still gave feedback and he said that he kept Alexia in mind. So he was letting her know that he had fun with Kai, but he still misses the fun between them two. So, you know, I think that so far he's he has the right thing in mind. So then Dr. Nicole tells them that it's the lady's turn to go on their dates. And she asks them in how they feel about that. Sean is not feeling it. Eric is not feeling it. And Jessica is eating that up because she likes to see him kind of get jealous over her. But Darian is says he's happy about it because he wants Alexia to have that same experience because you never know what's going to happen on a date or how you're going to feel. Um, Alexia is not buying that, though. So then Sean says that he doesn't have a reason not to trust LaRonda, but she's already a friendly person. So I believe that that pokes at his insecurities. Now we get to Eric. Um, Jessica's getting ready for her date. He was like, you're doing too much for your little date. So um, Jessica says she wants to learn more about herself on and with this date. And then she asked Eric if he has any advice for her. She, he said, just say no to everything. Say no. So um, he says that the, they have trust issues and Jessica is flirtatious. So then Jessica comes down with this skin tight dress. Her body is popping. She looks beautiful. I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> you you really did. it." I was like, I would if I would have been um, Eric, I'd have been upset about that dress. So um, Jessica's date comes. This is Randon. He's 32 and doesn't have any children. He says that he ain't got no problem dating somebody who's already in a relationship because he is known as Mr. Steal Your Girl. I said, well, all right then. So then he knocks on the door um, and Eric is like, who is it? And he said, it's Randon. And he said, who? Brandon, and he was playing with him. He could open the door and close the door. His face was like, who are you looking for? But then uh, he's, he uh, eventually gets let in. So then they get on their date. They start, they start talking about the trust issues that Jessica and Eric have and how they've been dating, but there's never been any talk about marriage. So Brandon says, you know, I would have been proposed to you to be my girlfriend. I was like, that was an interesting choice of words, but he says that he's 32, no children, and he's never had a girlfriend. I was like, that's, that's interesting to be that age and never had a girlfriend, but he has been in like situationships. Now y'all, he got Michael Jackson eyes to me, you know, like young Michael Jackson. That that's, I was like, I, I couldn't stop looking at his eyes. That's what he reminds me of. And his voice is really like, you know, like he's really breathy. <laughs> like he about to just like he's gasping for air. It was it was funny. Anyway, um, he says that he wants he's ready to settle down now. He wants to be one and done to have his children with his wife and everything. And Jessica's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Be all in. So they seem like they had a good time. He asked her what she wants to be in five years, and she does say that she wants to be married 
in five years. So now we get to Darian and Alexia. Darian seems a bit uncomfortable. He tells Alexia she looks good and she smells good. And she was just like, I ain't even got nothing on. I was like, girl, you know, just, just embrace your femininity a little bit and be like, oh, thank you, baby. And so like, you know, that's that's what men, they like that type of stuff. So, but I think she has a lot of masculine energy. So it kind of, uh, it's awkward for her to be like that. So she says that she is going on this date just to have fun. She's not doing it to get back at Darian. Um, she says, I hope he don't, he don't know you. Cause you know, he's a, a rap. I was like, girl, he probably don't child. Not shading Darian, but you know. All right. So here comes the date. This is Chris. He is 41. He's a personal trainer and Darian greets him. He was like, this is my girl, Alexia. I said, go ahead, Darian, state your claim. I see you. So she's putting on her shoes and Darian offers uh, Chris a seat. And he notices Darian's arms and he says that uh, Chris says he's a personal trainer. And Darian was like, oh, them personal trainers, trainers they be getting with their clients. And he was like, no, I, uh, I pride myself on not doing that. So Alexia asked him if he knows Darian. And Chris was like, I've never seen him in my life. <laughs> I was like, girl, y'all wrong for that. So then uh, Darian sees them out and he says that he's Alexia's protector. And it's hard for him to see his woman go out, you know, it'll be hard for any man. And I can imagine that would be true. So then we get to um, Dr. Nicole. She's doing a home visit to LaRonda and Sean. So they start talking about their finances. So they have separate finances. He takes care of his things. She takes care of hers. I, I, don't, I wonder how they pay their bills, but um, their bills, I'm sorry. He says that he's an entertainer and his income is inconsistent. So because of that, he feels like worthless and it, it makes him feel inferior and sad and even though LaRonda she says that she's not worried about that but that's honorable because he's showing that he wants to be the man and he wants to be the provider so I respect that about him now throughout this whole thing we notice LaRonda constantly like pets him and kisses him she does that throughout the whole episode it's like she's very mothering to him and after a while I think that could be something that tires her out um, LaRonda does say she's not worrying about the finance thing that as long as, you know, their relationship is healthy, that's what she's concerned about. Um, he gets emotional talking about his father. He says his father was there, but he would just go out and work, put the money on the table, and then he would leave. So he was there, but he was not present. And he noticed he saw his mother struggling and he doesn't want that to be the case for his queen talking about LaRonda. So um, he, he kind of breaks down. He mentions having a broken heart and, um, you know, dealing with that trauma. I don't know what other traumas, he, traumas he's had, but he talks about his father. So that, you know, that's something that he's really, really dealing with. And I appreciate him allowing himself to be emotional on camera and also seeking help with Dr. Nicole. So you know, shout out to Sean for that. But Dr. Nicole tells him that he has to write his own narrative and take the pen away from his dad. I was like, oh, that's a profound statement. Go ahead, Dr. Nicole. Sean says he has a, a broken heart. And um, she, Dr. Nicole tells him you have to decide how you're going to mend your heart. But while you're doing that, you have to be present in your relationship and, and not base it on what your father did you know you're you're not your father and but that's what he's afraid of of becoming like his dad so then we get to alexia and chris she says that he's her type that he is athletic the total opposite of darian i said okay alexia now you got mad when darian was talking about kai booty and her breasts and stuff now you talk about how you know fine this man is and stuff so you know no, don't it don't let it be a double standard. So then they they go to a, a batting cage and they do their thing. At first, Alexia seemed uncomfortable, but she did loosen up. He asked her, "Tell me about yourself." She said she's thirty four, no children. She's been with Darian off and on, um, but they haven't you know had the they haven't gotten into marriage or anything like that. So he asked her what she likes to do. She said she likes to go out, but that's a problem for Darian. And he was like, look, we ain't even going to talk about that. You know, like talk about Darian. Let's get into something else. So he was like, what do you like to do? And I'm asking you because I want to know if you know yourself, which I thought was really good um, because he was helping her point out that her life 
may be centered around Darian. Like, do she know who she who she is outside of him? And she was like, oh no, I'm an alpha female. I was like, girl, I do men. I know I have a couple of men that watch my channel. Do y'all like when women say I'm an alpha female? Is that I don't know, but it seemed like he was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, girl, you lost him. But um, she said, I do what I want. You know, things that I don't do things based on what Darian wants. I I can choose things to do for myself. But she did say she felt good because Chris listens to her. And um, she asked Kim what, what he wants in the relationship. He said he tells her she's beautiful. He doesn't go off a pretty face. He wants to make sure he's aligned with the woman that he chooses to be in a relationship with. So I was like, okay, that was good. Now we get to LaRonda and Sean. Y'all, Sean is having a hard time. I said, oh, my boy, is just, it's, he's dealing. So <laughs> LaRonda comes out looking sexy. She has a, a natural sex appeal to her. And uh, she was like, you excited? <laughs> I was like, girl, you know this man ain't excited. So she rubbing her legs and seducing him. I said, girl, you know what you was doing. That's right. Show him what you got. Show him what he got before you leave out. So she putting that lotion on her legs. And Sean said, you know what? This was a horrible idea because we have told each other to like let the other know if we're not having fun. And I'm just afraid that she's going to see something different in someone else and, and realize that she's not having fun in our relationship. So he tells her, he asked her if she had a safety pin to button that, that blouse up because her breast was out. And she was like, come on now, you're doing too much. So here comes her date. This is John. He's a singer, songwriter, and uh, a man of the people. I was like, John, what are you auditioning for? He gives me your boy off of, um, what is it? Get out. When um, the dude who got, when they flashed the camera and he was like, he started uh, like wigging out or whatever. That's what, that's what he gives me. So he knocks on the door and he was like, what's the peace and blessings? And LaRonda was like, oh, not peace and blessings. I was like, I next he gonna hit y'all with the whole tip. <laughs> and he started talking like real fast. I think he was just nervous, but he was like, you know, I'm searching for something. Y'all searching for something. And, you know, and Sean was like, well, what are you searching for? And I can't remember what he said, but Sean was like, come on now. And I, um, it was just funny the way like their interaction was, but Sean handled that, that part pretty good. So then they, uh, they start to leave out. And then once they left y'all, Sean, that Sean doggy, if you ever come across this video, do not get mad with me. I like to joke around you. I think you said you was a comedian so you could get humor. But when they, <laughs> look, God punishing me because my voice going out. When they left, Sean, Sean reminded me of them little kids. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm not about to edit this no more. But them little kids, when they have a fit, when they mama leave, and he was like going back and forth. He was pacing. So I thought he was going to grab something off that wall and be like, <laughs> like start slamming shit. He was just that upset. So he got so worked up, he had to go ahead and do some push-ups. I was like, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they get to the Bailey wine cellar. I said, shout out to Cynthia Bailey. I love me some Cynthia. So that's where Miranda and John are having their date. They sit down and talk about, um, you know, what they want in a, a relationship. And um, I can't remember, like, the the context of their conversation too much. Um, he says, you know what? I'm looking at this charcuterie board, and all I can do is imagine me throwing grapes and you catching them in your mouth. I said, what kind of shit? <laughs> but LaRonda, was, she was for it. She was a good sport. At first, I thought she was going to be like, oh, uh, no. But she did it, and she threw him a grape. He didn't catch his, but then she caught hers. I said, I hope y'all picked them doggone grapes up off the floor. So they do a little dance. They were having fun, and it was nice to see her have fun. She says that what she got from that is that he doesn't take things too seriously. And I think that that's something that she can bring back if she's brave enough to, because I can tell that she likes to um, guard Sean's heart. But this is something that he needs to see, that she is missing the fun in their relationship too. And because of his trauma, I think that he may be so used to being stuck in like negativity that he's not able to let loose and have fun. So 
John tells her that he has um he wrote a song. So he starts to sing the song and he sounds really good. He put he sounds like John Legend to me. It was a, uh his voice is really good. So uh Laronda is grooving to the song and they, you know, toast up to it. He said, you know, I'd like to have an, another date with you. And she was like, uh, I'll say this was a good time. <laughs> so she curved him so smoothly. Anyway, um, we get back to the house child. Sean is still exercising, right? And when he got up on this, this uh, I forgot what you call this thing, y'all. I lost it. I was like, <laughs> that was weak. He was just, I mean, he was getting the exercise in. So he had worked himself so, so much. He had to go lay down. And uh, they, the camera people are so shady. They, they zoomed in on that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what that looked like. He couldn't even eat, y'all. And I was like, Lord. My boy is just dealing. He's he's dealing, child. So he calls one of his friends, and his friend tries to comfort him. He was like, you know, I know that jealousy was going to get to you. But, you know, just be cool. It may have not even been a good date. You know, he was trying to, like, you know, bring him down. And uh, Sean starts to get emotional. And he said, you know, I, I'm I'm not okay. Um, uh, he said he's, he's not okay. So uh, he said that LaRonda is so important to him that she literally changed his life and he can't lose her. Now there's, it's like some codependency there. You know, I, I just, I think that they make a good couple, but Sean has to learn how to be strong by himself before you got to be whole on your own before you try to get into a relationship. And then that may be tiring for LaRonda after a while, because if y'all have children, she has to be a mother to them. So she can't really tend to your needs as much. And then after a while, it's going to wear her out when she constantly has to, um, you know, take care of you. And she also has to take care of herself as well. But he gets so sick. I mean, he, he goes and he throws up. I was like, Oh my God. You know, that that's a lot. Like he's really dealing with a lot. And I think he needs um like personal therapy. So then oh uh, my notes about to fall. <laughs> so then we get to Dr. Nicole and she starts going over the dates. So she asks them about, you know, what was um how they felt. Alexia says he looked good and uh Darian says he was a dork. <laughs> so she said that Chris let her talk. And uh, Dr. Nicole asked them if they seek to understand each other or do they seek to be seen. And I was like, well, where that came from? But um, Alexia says, I seek to understand him. And they stayed up talking from like 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. the other night. And um, Darian says that he feels like their relationship is progressing and he feels like they're um, getting the old them back. And I think that's what is um, holding them back in a way is that he's afraid that the fun is going to leave if he proposes to her and it's already starting to happen. So he thinks that getting married will make it even worse. But if this is communicated to her and she's receptive, Alexia, you got to be receptive to it and try, you know, put in the work too. I think that they'll be all right. But the way it's looking next, uh, the previews for next episode, I don't know. So then we get to, um, Jessica and Eric. And she said, Eric said he checked Randon at the door. So she said that their issue is is trust. And Dr. Nicole says, well, y'all trying to build a foundation on that? And I was like, say it again, Dr. Nicole, because like you get so focused on just, oh, I want to get married and I want to do this, but you're not thinking about these underlying issues that you have and y'all don't trust each other. So how how is your relationship going to be strong, have a solid foundation if y'all already don't trust each other. And um, Jessica was like, well, yeah. Dr. Nicole says, well, is that sustainable? And Eric straight up says no. And I respected him for saying that. And I wonder what their age difference is because he seems to to be more logical about the relationship that he knows that they don't trust each other. So, you know, I guess it's like that's what's hindering him because it, it may not work because they have those um, those trust issues. Now we get to LaRonda and Sean. And LaRonda, you can tell she's afraid to express that she had fun on the date because she's looking at Sean before she speaks. She said she had a great time and he was a gentleman. She said he, he led her with the song. And when she said that, everybody was like, what a song? And then uh, Eric said, I'm glad we didn't get that one. <laughs> 
I was like, like it's a car, uh, a, a defective, um, <laughs> like a, a defective appliance or something like that. Talking about that one. So um, she said, um, she asked, Dr. Nicole asked Sean how he took it. He said he was good until they left. And when they left, he got sick and he broke down. And he was like, what? <laughs> he said he was throwing up and everything. And everybody is surprised by that. So um, he says, it's hard for me to imagine my life without her. And LaRonda says, well, you know, Sean does get in his feelings. And then he he um, got emotional when he says he just doesn't want to be like his, his dad. Dr. Nicole tells him, you have to focus on the reality and not this thing that you're making up in your mind. And I appreciated Alexia having empathy because she started to tear up as Sean started to, to cry. Sean says that he has real trauma, that he thinks negative and he, and he doesn't want to turn into his dad, he says, but he goes from zero to 100 because he identifies things worse than they are. So um, to me, it seems like he ruminates a lot. Like if um, something is happening, like they could be on a date and, you know, at the park or something, he thinking they in a hotel, you know, doing something. So that's what um, he's dealing with. And then he, Dr. Nicole asked him if he treats LaRonda like his dad treated his mom. And he said, absolutely not. So she was like, see, you, you, you're making more, you're more making progress, but you, you're close and you don't even know it. So I was like, okay, that's good. And he appreciated Dr. Nicole for saying that. So then she asked them if they want to go on a second date. Um, first is Alexia. Alexia says, no, she'll pass. Um, she didn't, uh, Chris didn't show her what she needed. And she said something just didn't click. And I believe her because I, I think that they didn't they didn't have any real chemistry. But I think that they'll be they could be good friends because Chris seems like the type that can offer good advice. Then we get to um, Jessica and, and Eric. And Jessica says, no, you know, the um, Brandon has never had a girlfriend. And um, she just, you know, she was that was weird to her. And Dr. Nicole asks Eric how he feels, and Eric is just cheesed up. He's all smiles. But um, Dr. Nicole asks, says that she's interested in seeing if he's going to let Jessica do her, and I'm interested as well. So now we get to LaRonda, and you can tell LaRonda is scared to um, to say how she feels. She's still comforting Sean. Um, she says that John was a great guy, but no, because she has to think about Sean. And um, Dr. Nicole asked her, is, asked Sean, is that what he wants her to do? Because, you know, it, cause that's, that's not, it's not going to help them if she's not being honest in her decisions. And I do agree with that. So then um, she has them to think about, to, to ponder on that thing. So then she tells them that they're going to go on dates next week. And they're going to be in the same place at the same time with their partner on a date with somebody else. And they like, oh, goodness. Uh, Derry said, well, how that's going to work out? So Sean said they better have security. And I was like, child, y'all y'all might listen to him because I, I think that, whew, child, I'm kind of scared. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm not saying that he's like violent or any, anything, but I, I just like, I don't know how that would how that's going to affect him. And we see LaRonda, you know, is still, you know, comforting him. So anyway, y'all, this is going to be interesting next week. So like I told you, if you, well, if you don't watch my ready to love reviews, um, I'm having family in town. So my reviews may be a little different for a little while. Um, the sound may be off because, you know, I don't have my whole setup. So, you know, just bear with me through that. But we'll get back on track. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate everybody. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who, who leaves comments and everything. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all in the comments. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye.